So a cool little bit of technology that I just noticed is um, a little insect-like thing, insect-like robot that can fly using light. I know that sounds super weird, uh, but bear with me. This is like some cutting edge stuff. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if the people involved in this um, are postdocs or grad students because this is not something you could just code in boot camp um, in, one, in a few weeks. Um, I've always admired people who are in hardware because it is a lot harder and a lot slower to develop and test things. So getting back to the thing, <laughs> this is, this whole light flying feature is uh, a feature of Harvard's Robobby. I think I'm saying it the right way. I think I'm saying it the right way, uh, but I'm not 100% sure. It learned to swim, apparently, so it could do a bunch of different things. And it's a very, very lightweight, um, I'm tempted to say droid because I'm a huge Star Wars geek, but a robot that flies, they made it so lightweight that it can use the energy collected by the light hitting its solar cells. I can imagine this already being used. Uh, for spying purposes. That's like the first thing I think of. Cause why else does somebody have to fly a little tiny robot for long periods of time? Camera um, is the first thing that comes to mind. One thing that uh, really creeps me out about the design of a lot of these robots is that they're modeled after insects because uh, there's nothing better than millions, actually billions of years of evolution. Um, rather than trying to rediscover flight in all different shapes and sizes in our own way, why not model it off things that fly uh, and have been evolving to perfect flight for billions of years? This is not a company, I know I love to talk about startups, um, and new companies, uh, but this is not a company, this is a robot being developed at Harvard. It's purely research right now, but it'd be really cool to see what commercial applications, um, spying or otherwise, um, it's gonna have in the future. It'd be interesting to speculate what's done with that. So anyways, subscribe if you wanna keep up to date with startups, technologies, uh, and all the fun stuff, funny stuff uh, that's going on. See you next time.